Okay, so been through quite a lot of stuff there. We'll finish off with an exam style question to have a bit of a look at what you might face. So um, this example is about Pepsi and Coke and how what proportion of people like each drink and like both. So your task is to draw a Venn diagram to represent the information in the question. I've given you some probabilities, but not all of them. Uh, there's one probability missing, which we can figure out and write that in the Venn diagram. And then I want you to try and show by using the formula on the previous page. And I'll just write that down for you. So probability of A times the probability of B equals the probability of A and B if they're independent. So if that if that's true, then they are independent. If it's not true, they're not independent. Okay, so there's the formula to do it. Remember, A and B, they're just random letters that I've, that I've chosen. Okay, I've just chosen A and B because of the first two in the alphabet. You can use C and P for Coke and Pepsi. It probably makes it a bit easier to remember which one's which. Okay, but they're just letters. Okay, don't be confused by the fact that um, you can use any letter you like. Any letter you like to represent an event. We normally just use the first letter of the event to remind ourselves of what it actually is that we're looking at. Anyway, pause the video now and have a go at this question. It's really important to have a go at the questions and just even if even if you can just draw a little bit of the Venn diagram, that's fine. It's still thinking about what you've learned and reinforcing a bit about uh, what you've learned in this lesson. So have a go now. OK, hopefully you've had a go at that question or had to think about how you might answer it. And we'll have a bit of a look at it now. So we're going to draw a Venn diagram and then we're going to show that those two events are independent. So we've got two events uh, liking Pepsi and liking Coke. So Pepsi, I'm going to call P. Coke, I'm going to call C. And I've got my Venn diagram. This is my universal set. So everything goes in here. And my two circles. Not very good circles, I might add, for Pepsi and Coke. OK, now we're going to try and fill those two in. So 64% of people like Pepsi, 48% of people uh, like both Pepsi and Coke, and 9% of people like neither. So let's start with the neither people. That's a nice, easy one to fill in. 9% um, of people, or 0 0.09, can go on the outside don't like either right now 64% of people like Pepsi it's really tempting to write 0.64 in here now but don't because that 64% of people go in here and in here those are the people who like Pepsi aren't they the people here who just like Pepsi and the people here who like Pepsi and Coke we can't fill that one in the moment because that 64% is distributed across those two areas and we don't know how that's distributed yet so we can't fill it in so leave that one for now and move on to the next one which is that 48% of people like both Pepsi and Coke. So 0.48 can go in here. I'm going to write really small because my rubbish Venn diagram. But 48% of people go in there. Now, we know that 64% of people like Pepsi, okay, which makes up this area and the middle. So if 64% of people go there and we've already used up 48% of people in the middle, then that leaves us with 16% of people who just like Pepsi but not Coke, okay? 0.16 goes there. And can you see now that that 64% works? The probability of liking Pepsi is 0.16 plus 0.48, which gives us the 64% in the question. And we can actually complete this last bit of the Venn diagram now because we know everything has to add up to 1. So if we do 1 minus 0.16 minus 0.48 minus 0 0.09 that leaves us the amount of the proportion of people that just like coke so i'll type that in and we get 0 0.27 who just like coke okay um so that's our Venn diagram completed. Sorry about the rubbish intersection between Pepsi and Coke that I didn't draw my circles big enough. So always draw it big on the diagram and then you'll fit everything in. Now, the second part of it, that was part A. The second part of it was to show that they're independent. Well, let's do it now. If they're independent, the probability of liking Pepsi multiplied by the probability of liking Coke 
should be equal to the probability of lagging Pepsi and Coke. Okay, that should work if they're independent. Now the probability of liking Pepsi was given to us in the question, that was 0.64. Or well, we could get it from our Venn diagram by adding these two numbers together, uh, 0.16 and 0.48. The probability of liking Coke is the 0.48 who like both, plus the 0.27 who just like Coke, uh, which gives us 0.75. Now, the probability, these two multiply together. Well, let's work out the probability of liking Pepsi and Coke first. We'll just read that off the Venn diagram. That's 0.48. Now, when we multiply the 0.64 for Pepsi multiplied by the 0.75, we do get, let me type that in to check, we get 0.48. Okay which matches with the probability of Pepsi and Coke. These two match, so events are independent. Okay, so all we have to do is just show that that's true. And it's always useful in questions like this to write a little conclusion and say, I'll make sure you write this equation here and say that since this equation is true, or this equation works, the events must be independent, or alternatively, if you find the events aren't independent, uh, use that as a conclusion. It's always good to write a little bit at the end to show the examiner that you understand what you're actually doing in the question. Um, that way you guarantee you'll pick yourself up the marks. And that's everything I've got for you on Venn diagrams. We've got a bit more probability to look at. Um, we'll look at tree diagrams next time. That should be a nice short lesson to look forward to. And then we'll be done with probability and moving on to something else. Um, if you want to do more work on Venn diagrams, loads of problem papers, uh, questions, uh, quizzes, past paper questions, just all sorts of stuff on the Solve4x website. So have a look and just navigate um, into the statistics section and into the Venn diagram section. You'll see there's loads of stuff there to have a go at. Um, so thank you very much for watching this one and I'll see you next time.